and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today the 9th of november 2022 mike smith senior analyst at go markets here on what is going to be an interesting day across the globe in financial markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news right now of course us equities last night it was a very choppy session managed to make some gains though as us midterm voting today with significant republican gains expected we should get the results or start to get some of the early results through this evening australian time inflation data is also in focus that is due out tomorrow and that will be a game changer in terms of market sentiment also us futures are trading mildly positive in asia up around about 0.3 percent on the nasdaq and asian indices are generally higher in early trading the asx is trading up around about 0.6 percent and european equity futures are also pointing to a higher open the US dollar index dropped again to test support. The euro is back over parity now. It was testing it yesterday. And gold had a significant jump higher, popped back over 1700. Oil pulled back from that $100 a barrel on the Brent CFD crew contract by around about 4% yesterday. And copper outperformed most of the other commodities and pulled back up towards 370. The VIX bounced off 25 just as a little bit of uncertainty creeps in about how those results are going to come in. Bitcoin dropped significantly and is threatening that long-term 18,600 support. We'll check in on that. And it is the last week of earnings season, but the markets are bracing for the results of these midterm elections as the polls are closed now, or about to, and of course, that inflation data tomorrow. Very little out on the data front today. Chinese inflation data is due and Japanese trade balance missed expectations. I'm going to look at some charts of interest today. We're going to have a quick flick through just to show you some of the key movers. And we're actually going to start with UKO USD on the gold contract. You can see that bounce off $100 to the downside significantly yesterday. Tends to trade in $5 increments. But we seem to be holding okay in Asia today. Perhaps a little bit of profit taken at this early stage. Watch out for a potential breach of 95 if we get continued selling. We also reference Bitcoin. Here's Bitcoin on the daily chart. And you can see that significant drop yesterday, a follow through today and a major threat to this, as we said, 18600 support that has been in place for a long time. In fact, the last time we were at these levels, you can see was in 2020 towards the back end of the year. So a significant move in cryptos and one wonders whether we could see a capitulation over the next few days. Just going to have a look at Euro USD. And we can see we're pushed hard up against a key level at just over parity plus 78 pips. If we do break through this, I expect it to be a little choppy. And of course, the midterm elections are going to have a significant impact on this. The two major asset classes we're probably keeping a look out for is the Euro USD and of course the S&P 500 futures contract. Those two are going to be very worthwhile keeping an eye on. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.